Hello everybody, this is Adigeko once again coming to you with more The Elder Scrolls Legends. Today we're gonna play we're gonna be playing some arena gameplay. I have already picked all the cards we are playing an assassin. So Well, let's get to it, shall we? As you know uh, versus arena is good for rewards. Uh, it is definitely worth for the 150 gold that you're gonna be spending on even if you do not win any games it's gonna give you 50 gold and a pack which means which means it's it already pays for what you've uh, what you've given uh, let's you know what share okay it already pays for uh, what you paid to take part in the arena we're fighting a warrior here and interesting our warrior friend does not play anything on turn two either. But I mean, we play something on turn two. What about turn three then? There we go. Which is good. For us, he raises the spine of obedience. So I want more cards here because it is really limited what I can play. There we go, that's much better. I don't want to use the uh, Dark Rebirth because I want to use it on something like the conjuration scholar preferably or we have a balmora spy master which would be even better to use on if you don't know what a balmora spy master does it summons a random creature depending on your maximum mana okay okay Let's scare him a little bit, shall we? The restoration mage can never be counted. Oh, that's actually interesting though. I didn't expect a restoration scholar. Let's try it this. What you gonna do, hmm? He probably going to uh, take this out with that, and it's gonna give me an give me a good ice storm. That's what I am expecting right now. Yes, there we go. If he doesn't, if he just go, goes for face, yeah, but he doesn't. I was going to trade it in and play a nice storm. Let's hit him in the face first. Maybe a prophecy comes along. It does not. So, there we go. Thank you, my friend. A lurking mummy. A lurking mummy. Don't me. Now things are getting a little bit hairy.
Oh boy. So Ah, come on. Right, that's fine. Now let's see what our friend is going to do against this board. He unfortunately wasted a uh, shield breaker, but he has another one, wow, okay. Indeed. Alright, so what? we are going to do here is play this first <clears throat> oh boy isn't that a treat for us huh guys it is it is a treat let's start with this There we go. Now on the next turn we can play this and this or this and this. We're gonna have some good times boys. Good times indeed. The restoration mage can never be counted out. Sure. I'm gonna trade this into this. It's gonna be an easy trade. Then I can even kill him if everything goes well. But he has six more magicka, so well there may be more well things he's gonna play, but he already says well fought, so maybe he does not have anything else. My fight is done. Yes. We are taking the first game with a storm, boys. <laughs> Didn't even need to do the thing with the East Empire Crafter. An extraordinary performance! How far can this challenger go? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a challenger! On to the second game, we move on. Eagerly awaiting our opponent. I would like to play a uh, Balmora Spy Master, but uh, I didn't need it in the last game. It's just a fun card. One of my favorites, to be honest with you. Sorry for the weird cut. A little bit of a conversation, you didn't miss anything, I just kept my hand as you can see. Because I have a good hand this turn. Is he going to break a rune to play anything? Seems like yes. Yes. This one will protect us on the roads. Oh my. That's interesting. That is course, indeed interesting. I play this on this side because he might have something with charge like the bat or uh, skuma racketeer to give this lethal I would rather not deal with those things let's threaten him a little bit I 
I want to see him defending this side instead of this side. I don't need uh, I don't need one point of completed contract, but I want him to divide his forces between the lanes, preferably. What could he play that costs for Magicka? Come on then. Oh, swing first. I see. So he did as I expected. If I had one more man, that would be great. And I am going to... Yeah, I think I'm going to split this. I was going to Dark Rebirth it, but no. And on the next turn, this one gives me some good uh some good sh good da 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 yes good value hmm didn't see this coming eh there we go, we get a prophecy. And it is we'll see how they like who that thing. So what I can do here is Well I will just trade this in. I do not have many choices there. I will the area. For Wood. But I can erase his entirety entire existence from that lane, which is good. The betrayer did, traitor did amazing job by the way, hit him so many times with that card, couldn't ask for a better one. Just give me a name. Interesting, interesting indeed. Take back Those goddamn lords again. Mara's heart. <laughs> Don't underestimate me. Let's go with this. I have a dark rebirth. I do not care for him getting a bonus point of a completed contract. If he doesn't, sure much better for me but if he does it's it, it's not that big of a deal i would rather not put anything in this lane because i want him to be stuck with this two cost one one charge instead of getting the value stormcloak battalion this is basically if he doesn't get the stormcloak battalion this is basically a uh, zero cost charge card you know but you pay two for it instead. What was that zero cost card? That screams time to fight. You yeah, that card. You know which card I'm talking about, right? It's red also. Oh, that's interesting now. Okay. Oh, 
Aha. Alright, you know what? Let's play a game then. Now what you gonna do, huh? You cannot injure it without wasting both of your cards unless you have another archer's gambit but no you still cannot injure it without wasting both of your cards let's see how you deal with this conundrum oh interesting okay this one offers something tasty i see i see I knew it. I knew he had that card. But that's it, right? Yeah. To dust with you. Good. I'm just hoping he doesn't have a, uh, what's its name? Rage, yes. If he has a rage, that's going to be a little bit problematic for us. Now he can clear both of these. But he needs to clear all of these basically. If he he cannot clear this with the things on board or these two. And if even if he clears this and doesn't clear these two, I still have lethal here. And I can even skip the last rune by hitting this and giving this the uh steel dagger for six points and hitting him in the face. It is well with my soul, is in trouble, but he is thinking really hard, so I am inclined to assume that he does not indeed have a have an unstoppable rage in his hands, which is great for us. He's running out of time. Tick tock, tick tock. He should be playing something soon. Curse. Now that's interesting. And the crossbow. Okay, that's a good one. That is indeed a good one. But he ran out of time, did he? What? He skipped his turn. He skipped his turn on accident, man. He could have lived. Such an unfortunate fate. Such an unfortunate fate indeed. Well, it's not like I never done that before. If you've seen my previous videos, I have done the same thing before as well. So, you know what? This is a good curve. Two, three, four. Mm. 
beautiful. I only wish I can get a, uh, you know, a lethal on this. Plus one, plus one lethal. Then it would be actually insane. We are facing a scout. Alright, alright, alright. Of course I'm on your side. It's going to be interesting. Maybe somewhat problematic as well. Hopefully not too much though. Lethal is bad. I wish I had something to take out, take it out of commission. Whisper your need to the scales. Really. Let's go with this. I feel like we are in trouble this time. <clears throat> yep. But he did use the silence on a rather meaningless creature. Because I still have the finish off to kill that. Instead of finish off, I will use this, I think. Let's run him out of cards. He's being aggressive. We can play a little bit of a control game. Does it now? Okay, okay. Oh, there we go. Balmora Spy Master. Stendar will protect me. If we die. We die together. Unfortunately, we were not offered any removal cards while we were drawing. I fly like the wind and the shadows protect me. Let's see what we get from this. Or not. Let's shed some light on the okay, that's good. Oh, that is so good. That is actually really good. We needed a guard and we got a guard. Balmora Thank you Nice try 
care to go again? There isn't a lock that will keep this one out. I keep a spare blade in my boot. Let's see how this goes now. Alright. So much for a clean escape. I'm here to help, not play politics. That is exactly what I needed. Keep going like this game, please. Do your worst. I think I can do this safely. Interesting. He does not take out my heal. Do your worst. So much for a clean escape. Don't underestimate me. Just give me a name. Let's go. Another soul split. Okay. I'm not gonna give him cards. It is dangerous to give him cards. Very dangerous, actually. He insists on not taking away my heal. I gave him one card and that's enough. Risky enough. I raise the spine of obedience. So much for a clean escape. It's nothing personal. Heal first, always. Oh, it's a prophecy. Boris is my strength and my courage. Hmm. Can I th still kill him? I have to kill this, but uh, let's do it like this, shall we? Holding on to anything interesting? Alright, he needs to guard both lanes very hard, but you know what? Fuck this shit, man. Come on. Could I have killed him? I could have killed him. Jesus Christ, man. Ah, Tazka in the arena, man. Cho we lose to Tazka in an arena match. There's nothing to say, really. Begin. 
No, we didn't. We didn't have lethal at all, right? Yeah, we didn't. Another Highland Lurcher we draw. Mm, not very really nice. <laughs> we lost to an Arena Tuskard. Arena Tuskard. Arena Tuskard. Alright, let's see how this goes. Of course. I will not let him have control of the lanes. Hopefully he doesn't have another curse and shit. Here we go. He can heal for a little bit. Don't miss me. That's better. Heroic rebirth, interesting. Well, there are no zero cost legendaries, so I am pretty sure there are not any zero cost legendaries at least. Okay, please give me a firebolt. Thank you, game. This gets me so far ahead in game. That one firebolt. Guard. That's what I would do. Oh yeah, charge is also an option. And the shadow me. Really. Okay. Oh come on. First room prophecy. Javelin Gloomlurker Definitely better than Javelin, but I don't know how better, how much better than Javelin. I sincerely hope that's an Alduin. That is good. Wasting is removal. Well, it's not exactly wasting, but it's wasting. This time I do not make the same mistake of 
playing my cards before attacking. If you play your cards before attacking, you are making them vulnerable to possible other a uh, well, you know, other possible prophecies, and you don't want that. I don't have many important cards. I just hope he didn't took me took my uh, conjuration scholar. This will give me two card draws and maybe even a prophecy. No prophecy. Okay. Hit the face. Ouch. Am I right? Dark rebirth it. Oh, a skeletal dragon. There we go, boys. And not green. <laughs> Double legendary. Holy shit. The forest will not suffer your presence. And there isn't a lock that will keep this one. See this shit? This is the power of Dark Rebirth and Balmora Spy Master. He needs a Dawn's Wrath to come back from this, basically. Yeah, Anasi won't be enough for him to come back from this. What do I have in my graveyard that I would like? <laughs> Balmora Spy Master, of course, of course. <laughs> yes. Get me a Balmora Spy Master, come on. Oh, that's also pretty good. But can I kill her? Yeah. Yep, I have just enough damage. <laughs> Holy shit, Balmora Spy Master, thank you very much. That Balmora Spy Master went in, man. Holy shit. A skeletal dragon and Nakreen. Serious. I only wish we could get a better card from Nakreen, but you know what? I have absolutely no real complaints about that. Balmor Spy Master value. Hmm. We have Ice Storm against the Warrior, which is good. He is likely to play some small creatures. By small, I mean, yeah. Oh, that's not that's not good for us, though. That is actually not good for us because that is the only card he could have played that makes us makes our ice storm bad. That's actually fine. Okay. We missed the third <sighs> third turn. It's not good. That's good. Okay, give me something. Oh, that is interesting indeed, but I will take this, I think. Because I don't know, maybe he has some Red stuff in there. We do not have anything for the turn five either. But we can dark rebirth this and get more cards. If he doesn't kill it, of course. And he does.
Balmora's Pie Master. Hello, my friend. You have served me well last time. Okay, that's still killable. That is still killable. I shouldn't have done that probably. I should have played it here because now he can trade this in. But does he want to is the question. Hopefully he doesn't and I get to ice storm this thing. In its entirety. We are gonna overdraw, unfortunately. And he doesn't trade it in, which is amazing for us. That is still amazing. Still amazing. We are gonna clear this board, man. Now it's going to be interesting. <sighs> Give me something with rain, please. No, but that's also a pretty good card. Let's shed some light on the problem. Okay. He draws a card. Blood on the and it is from Hold Henchman. Oh my god, that's the worst card. Actually no not really, but still. So I can Yeah, I have to do it, because if he has a shield breaker in his hand, I just lose the game. Firebolt is good now. We get even more <sighs> removal, which is good. This is a stressful game, but that ice storm was amazing. Actually saved us. So, we're gonna start healing little by little. And Dark Rebirth this. Another Nakreen into a soul split. And the soul split goes to the Balmora Spy Master as well. It is another Nakreen into a Highland Lurcher. Okay. That's pretty insane. 
That is pretty insane. We have 10, 17, plus 5. Yeah, we have pretty much really good damage there. Alright, let's see if he can deal 8 damage in one turn. Oh, that's bad. That's fine though. So Balmora Spy Master once again destroys everything man holy shit this Balmora Spy Master Not even kidding See it with your own eyes man Balmora Spy Master fucking wrecked shit wrecked everyone's shit twice now Double Macrine, really? Holy shit, man. You know what, keep it. Kimmy Patronin. That is the best thing that could have ever happened. The entirety of hand is discarded and redrawn because that means our opponent doesn't have anything in his hand that he would want to play at all. And from him playing the Dragon Cult Ghost, I could draw two conclusions one, he doesn't know what it does, and two, he doesn't have anything to play in his hand still. Which is both good for us. Just give me a name. You waste my breath. Didn't see this coming, eh? Stendar will protect me. And the next turn I am getting a charge 2-2, two, two, I think. It's nothing personal. That's fine. Maybe he's playing with a friend or something. Could be the case. His friend was like, "Come on, try this. This game is really good. We can we can play it together and shit." And he was like, "Okay, man. I'm going to give it a try." Yeah, that's not a very played card, but it's been really helping me this couple of past turns. Death. 
interesting. He didn't kill this. Why? I am a child of darkness. Didn't see this coming, eh? This Mournhold traitor has done so much work, man. So much work. <sighs> doesn't he have anything to stop it? That doesn't stop me. Doesn't stop me at all. You need to kill this to survive. He must have picked all the big cards or something. That's a mistake. Now you have more things to deal with. You should have just killed it. I will protect the hist. Mm hmm Could I get a finish off please, game? That would be great. There isn't a lock that will keep this one out. Okay. Let's line up some customers. Okay. So he doesn't have anything to deal with this. Yep, nothing. Nada, none. Didn't see this coming, eh? Let's see what this gives me. Let's shed some light on the problem. Hmm? And give it cover. So he cannot kill it. He could play to protectors of the root. But I don't think he has it. And he draws a card, which means he doesn't have anything in his hand that would help him from this situation. I'll scout ahead. Yep. I think I am correct. In his entire hand, there is nothing that gives him a way out only thing that would give him a way out right now is a necklace snake tooth necklace And now it doesn't either. Maybe another one of those could save him. No. Good game, sir. <laughs> Good game. So giving this cover actually won me the game that turn. Probably we would still win, but I don't know if it would be the uh, that turn, you know. And he could stabilize, he could have stabilized because he had 
some cards in his hand, you know, many, many cards. He did uh, waste a lot of cards in favor of cycling, I think, like Scott's report and uh, that item is just worthless. Cycling too much is not something you want in, want in arena because it is going to run you out of cards and you don't want to run out of cards. Our opponent is having trouble with his choices, but we have a bad hand this time. Hopefully, so does our opponent. So he didn't play anything, which is great for us. If he skips this turn as well, it would be surprising, but amazing as well. He doesn't, of course. Okay, let's see what animal we get. Moonlight Warbat, pretty good, pretty good here. On the next turn I will try to Cunning Ally and Firebolt that instead of rushing the Matron into this because it's not something, <coughs> it's not a valuable trade, not at all. That's good. That is exactly what we expected, what we wanted to happen. I'm ready for anything. Interesting. He traced that in. I am ready to join the it's actually a very effective finisher. Instead of trading it in, he could have waited a turn. Okay. And we have a dark rebirth. So if we can kill this, I think we are gonna have some advantages here. Good. That is indeed very good. It's not enough to watch your back these days. It's not enough to watch your back, huh? I don't disagree. Oh, that is so good. Great one, man. Really nice one. Indeed. So he's being aggressive. Really? Thank you. My goodness. Such a great guy, guys. Such a great guy. Am I surprised? Mildly. Let's go with this. Awaiting orders. Take your positions. I can still hardly believe he actually My sword hand itches. Just give me an egg. The forest is ours. Yeah. Of course I'm on your side. Okay. Ready to join the 
Okay, okay. He's making some weird plays, in my opinion. You guys can disagree, of course. Clean this up. To the man we all return. And play Balmora Spy Master. Let's go, boys. Get speak with the voice of the night mother. Okay, <laughs> that's pretty good. And uh, I think I'm gonna end my turn here. Let him do his thing. Give him give me some cards, you know. A job, of course. Actually, good thing I did not. Uh, okay, give me a card. It's the Palace Prowler. Sure. Let's go. I don't want to play anything else just yet. Expected, expected indeed. Gotcha. I'm not sure if he understands this, but I actually don't want to hit him in the face. So every time he refuses to uh, let me hit him in the face is actually in my favor because I don't want to hit him in the face not yet oh hello give me something good Jarl Bologruf you for real But Golden Saint is so much better, man. Actually, so much better, though. Okay, now I wanna hit him in the face. <laughs> there we go. Much better! Yarl Balgruf is kind of a meme. <sighs> it's not a card to be picked in these situations, but who am I to judge? And we take the sixth game. I think this was thanks to uh, Rift and Pickpocket. Let's be honest here and give credit to everything we have played, right? And we are on to the seventh game, guys. 
Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Taking down Crusaders, Scouts. A scout taking us down, but that was a fucking Tazgad in an arena, man. You do not expect that to happen, like, at all. Getting legendaries is rare enough in the arena. Getting Tazkad as a legendary. Yeah. And that prophecy saved him from certain death, basically. An archer. Okay, that's good. We have Warcrafters, Wardcrafters to play. Let's see. He is indeed aggressive, it seems. And we get an Ice Storm, which is great. Ice Storm may be the exact thing that we need in this matchup because red monsters do not have much health red creatures I should say maybe and uh, you know what this is more dangerous actually and being low health creatures Red creatures are actually very susceptible to ice storm. Now this one get doesn't get health upon death. So that is an advantage for us. I should try to try to contain them as much as I can. Without using the ice storm. If I if possible. Hmm. <sighs> Problematic, but not the end of the world. Because we have a finish off here. There isn't a lock that will keep this one like I will not give him any cards. Even if he does have a uh, oh no, we'll see how they like someone who fights back. Even if he does have a rage, is what I was going to about to be saying. He's still needs one more turn to play that rage so we should be safe for now as long as I draw breath. Mm, that's bad that's bad that is bad indeed so you know what let's hit him and ice stormy man hope for the best with the balmore's pie master Good game, man. He absolutely wrecks us with that Stampede Sentinel. The only large creature. Well, not the only large creature, but a large creature that we cannot 
mess with a lot. Let's say. And that ransack on the... Yeah. That ransack also was a nail in our coffin. A monk, interesting. Let's redraw this. The rest is fine. And the Elder Gleam Matron actually gives us more options. Huh. What the fuck did you get, man? You know what? I don't want to know. Execute. Okay. There is not many better cards he could have executed, so I guess that's fine. We get an afflicted elite. Not bad. Can't say it's good though, but not bad. Really? Don't you think there could be more dangerous things that you would like to remove? Just give me a name. I don't know. I'm not gonna break another rune. Okay. He is playing defensive. But I also do not want to play aggressively. The Golden Saint though? Absolutely yes. We must break through their ranks. Mm-hmm. Just let me pick your pocket. Stendar will protect me. I want another card from him. A Tazcad. Are you kidding me? What? He has a fucking Tazcad, guys. Just let me pick your pocket. May Stendar have mercy on you. Know what? That's fine. Leave your eight. Son of a bitch. He forced my hand, man. I have to play it. another animal We have them surrounded. I will secure the area. My sword hand itches. Oh, 
inward. Okay. I fucking knew it. God fucking damn it, man. <laughs> okay, 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 that's fine. Please don't have a javelin. Or a Monte Cora. You have my thanks. <laughs> well fought. <laughs> he didn't have a javelin or a Monte Cora. Well, we finished this arena 6 3. I was really getting excited for a 7 2 or 7 1, but. So be it. It was a good run. We have had some real fun with all those knuckreens that are <laughs> that have been coming out of Balmora's Spy Masters. And let's see our rewards. Nice, nice. We have two packs to open. Let's open those packs before I end the episode it's guidance packs too there are some legendaries I would like to have in Skyrim that I still did not get my hands on no epics, no legendaries only rares or commons well uh, thanks for watching guys uh, it has been a fun arena game. Oh, I hope you enjoyed as well. All those summoning Rakrins with that super super lucky Balmora Spymaster plays and shit. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like. And uh, give in the comments you can share any decks you want me to play. And I will give that a try as well. And uh, have a nice one guys. Arigato out.